Hello everybody, this is Matt once again, giving you an update for the weekend of July 8th, 2012. How are you guys doing? So I'd like to start off this update by giving you the channel of the week. This week I'm featuring Mr. Luco Libre, who does vlogs in a similar manner to the Shaytars and CDTFXC. Good afternoon, Luchachos. It is July 4th. Happy Independence Day. It's going to be a fun day. See you guys after the intro. Giggity. Out for a walk, cause there's nothing to do. Out for a walk, homie, what about you? Mr. Luco Libre has been using a portion of my, one of my tracks as an introduction to his vlogs and also has used other uh, pieces of my tracks for a little uh, skits uh, involving his family. So, uh, very much appreciated to him. If you like what you saw, please go to his channel. His channel link is in the description. And if you like what you see there, go ahead and subscribe to his channel. So, not much else has happened this week, except I've been in a, on vacation, of course, as I said last week. Uh, but I have been able to get some tracks done for you guys, uh, most notably two electronic tracks, a dubstep and something that was... I can't really classify it. It's kind of techno trance stuff. On the other side, I was actually able to upload a few tracks onto my Reverb Nation account. Okay, so backing up, I do actually have a fan Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash technoax. But uh, the reason I mention this is because my Reverb Nation is linked to that Facebook page. And up until now, it's been just an empty play button that goes to the site that had no tracks on it. But right now, I actually do have some music there. I have about 30 or so tracks now. Uh, I'm not sure how much more I'm going to update, but uh, if you have any special requests on tracks that you like, please give me a, a comment here, and uh, I'll basically include those tracks in the Reverb Nation playlist. Um, these tracks on Reverb Nation are streaming only, only because I think that the links that I'm giving you to my website through the YouTube pages featuring my music have better quality music or have better quality sound than the Reverb Nation does. Reverb Nation has a size limit on the tracks that you can upload of up to 8 megabytes, whereas the tracks on my site have no such limit, and so therefore I can provide you with better tracks there. So I would like to ask you guys a question about my introduction series. A while back ago, I started a musical series called The Introduction. You guys probably noted it's royalty-free introduction series, where I post music that is about a minute or less in length. Um, I did this based off of feedback from one of the YouTube forum pages. Uh, I made a post and somebody suggested that I do some introduction music that was less in length. Um, and so I did that as an experiment and I'm up to 15 tracks right now. And what I'm finding is that even though it's great introduction music, a lot of you guys basically take big portions or small portions of my bigger songs, my fuller songs, and use that as your introduction as well. There's nothing wrong with that, but it's kind of an argument for me to possibly quit the introduction series and make bigger tracks instead, you know, focus on the, the more complete tracks for you guys to cut whatever you want and make the, that part your introductions. On the other hand, it seems to me that uh, the introduction series can serve as a platform for me to throw ideas out at you and then see what you guys like and then make longer tracks when you guys requested, as you guys have already done. I think I've done three tracks right now where it's basically been extensions of introduction or short tracks into longer tracks. So let me know what you think about that as well. 
But uh, let me talk about that Facebook page for a minute. Um, yeah, I do have a Facebook page, and uh, the reason is that uh, some of you asked for it, and I realize that it's a great way to keep you guys updated. But uh, you know, I've been thinking that in the future that it's possible to make it its own, it, a, a center base for its own community. I realize that YouTube communities have kind of died off since like the newer changes have come about and that you know larger YouTubers kind of keep to themselves the success that they've, they've gotten over the years. But uh, as some of you all other, but as some of you have uh, mentioned and noted that in order for littler guys to become bigger and grow their channels, you need sort of a community to basically base off, and um, I don't know if the tools are available right now on YouTube for that sort of thing. So maybe one of these days we can grow the Facebook page or any other page into something that you guys can bounce ideas off me and vice versa and bounce ideas off you guys as well. Um, but uh, let me know uh, what your thoughts on are on, on the, the Facebook page and how I've handled that so far um, and I will take those into consideration definitely. But in any case, I hope you guys are having a great day so far. I'm going to enjoy the rest of this week off. I will probably try and get another couple tracks out to you this week and then I will be back at my home about yeah, Saturday and stuff and then it will be business as usual actually. So, have a great week. I hope you have lots of sun and, and lots of great times. I will see you guys later. Thank you.